of Swamiji had said, the manifesting divinity through the manifestation of perfection inherent in man in various fields like art, literature, music, philosophy, language, religion, and so on. This we call manifestation of divinity in the field of religion through the manifestation of perfection in the field of education. Man has to first acquire manliness through education and they can easily aspire to become divine through religion. Unfortunately, many of us do not understand this process of inner transformation from manliness to godliness. The task is difficult, and this difficult task. With the week now our Ramakrishna Vivekananda movement, and we all have voluntarily come forward to carry out this great task and eventually fulfill the dream of creating a society based on Vedantic concept of equality, Vedantic concept of freedom, and Vedantic concept of sacredness of human personality. Equality, freedom, fraternity, all these words are known to us. And these are the slogans of the Renaissance, but not a single of these great ideas could be translated in our society. The fault was obviously somewhere, and that fault obviously is in, did not take up this freedom. This equality, this fraternity, as we used to feel in Vedanta. So, Swamiji's idea was that Vedantic concept of freedom, Vedantic concept of equality, and Vedantic concept of sacredness of human personality, these three key concepts, these are to be inculcated in society so that society gets ready <coughs> uh, for. Converting each of its members from man to God. So that is his plan. And during Sankaracharya's period, society was not ready, Sankaracharya was not wrong. But we have all been say, living in the midst of these ideas. It is very difficult to convert our so called secular society. Vedantic society. Anyway, this is our task, and we know how difficult it is. So, the role of, moreover, the role of collective life of monasticity <coughs> in collective material aid of welfare is of immense value. A new concept of monasticity has <coughs> evolved since Swamiji's time. And I am not going to expound the details of it, but you all know it. So it is not the usual type of monasticism. It has a close relation with the householder. And who is householders, who is servants, who is part of the task, task of inner transformation of each person in society. The twelfth this and we have so many departments as you all know. Uh, we have no time to just speak out of speak out all of this. But we have uh, a big library as you all know. With three weeks for the general senior readers, another junior readers and the children. We have School of Languages, uh, so five Indian languages and 14 foreign languages are taught, and we have those things at the extent of uh, or, say, 17,000 per year. Philological studies and research uh, under this research center and study center. There are so many say, ramifications and various, so many subjects are taught. So every week we are holding more than say, 
30 uh, lectures and classes, all on this subject. So we have a publication of the place, value orientation, programs, the 56,000 students we have been able to touch. Also, those who are experiencing some trouble, young students, they come and have it's a proper guidance from some of the university professors. So, we have cultural programs, music concerts, 46 music concerts. <coughs> concerts were held during the year under the group. We held international and national seminars almost every year. Sometimes we actually see our both and we have been reviewed by the senior summits that you cannot hold so many international and national centers, international centers in a year. But still we cannot go without arranging for this. We also run we, have, we, we had spent 74 lives uh, towards <coughs> education, charity, and medical help. This is, a, this is quite a big amount for us. We have to collect it. Uh, and people are generous to contribute towards this. And not so much for uh, conducting our normal programs, you see. So you may say that huge amount is necessary uh, to, uh, by investing which we can get uh, this, this amount of support, 74 lakhs. So that, that, is, that is a fact that we must record in. But you see, we have, it has other aspect also. That aspect is that <coughs> The government, state both state government and central government, they are helping us a lot. We are fighting and they have accepted that these cultural programs are reaching out to the people for higher culture and, and making them better persons, so to say. In the task of the government, they have a department called Cultural Department, Department of Culture, but they do not have any institution. <coughs> to make these ideas percolate among the people. That's why they have a very genuine and nice outlook towards us. Nowadays we are having problems, problems that they are raising our contribution gradually. We will have to pay part of the total expenditure. So it is your duty to collect it. And it is quite a huge amount. Five crores, more than five crores per year. And I know, and you also feel that for any institute, institution, any organization to collect five crores, more than five crores in a financial year, it will really be a very difficult task. But still, of people, the, the generous donors, they come and donate on charity. Mind that, and not on development programs or the projects that we have already undertaken. That is the tragedy. But I won't call it tragedy, but this is also a pressing problem. The people, especially the students and the patients, they are coming to us with such a request that we can hardly believe in this.
Outsiders, aliens. So many a scholar nowadays even has put it that it is a big topic. It is only who has asked us to go for the proper analysis of the concept, whether really. Aliens came from outside. For some of the scholars, <laughs> so like Professor Arti Bazrupta even, they have dismissed the issue, the idea. Even Professor Bazrupta has written that by even by quoting Samiji, I can dispute Samiji. So we, we say that Samiji in the beginning used to feel and said also, say, used to say also, aliens came from outside. And in, in his speeches in outside India, you will find that statement. But when he came back to India, after conquering the West, he changed his stand. That is it. And in Pastor Pastor, I just give you the quotation. Oye, European Pondit Bolche, Arjora Kotaote, Uri Shevalote, Bunode, Vere, Kete, Jovi, Chidi, and Baskole, was of Ahmu de Kota, Amade Ponditra, Dexi, Say Gue, Go, Amade Visho, Biru, Mita, Seve, Ude, Sonano Hutsi. A O T on nine. Guri the Kuman Kota and that Kon Bede Kon Sutri Kota Dekecho the Arjura Kon Bidis Take Dekecho. This is the form step. So we have so long been trying to prove it intellectually, so to say. But Professor said he had given us a very deep insight into the subject. And I think he is going to 
is going to put an end to the debate over this issue. As rightly pointed out by the Secretary Maharaj, ever since our school days we have just told of the alien inhibition theory that the alien aliens invaded our country and built the foundation of what is known as Is it really show? Is it not a myth? In view of recent excavations and discoveries, some such questions come to our mind. And here is Professor Joy Shen, who can speak with authority on this debate. And one cannot find a better person to talk on today's subject. After aliens, aliens, Professor Shen. So this is something like 45 years back and it keeps 
me sailing through all these years, first as a student and then as a, a student of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, and then I picked up all my love for Indic studies and ethnology when I was in the West studying at Iowa. So we don't have much time and I'll go a little fast. And uh, there's a first part of the presentation, which is uh, the rediscovery of a mishandling of it. A total mishandling of it, which is the first part. And then we really raise a question, who exactly are the aliens? So this two part will try to be very quick, because this, it's a very big topic, a very vast topic. And I will try to come very quickly to something which we call recent lights. That means Akun Kiki Kaj Shiguri Akshat Akun Tridukara. All the great works done by archaeologists, ecologists, anthropologists, philologists, linguistic experts. Because you cannot find the truth by, by just touching one side of the elephant. The entire elephant has to be exposed. So when you combine that beautiful diagram which Amiti drew for Sister Nevedita, it's like a lamina, I mean the various lamina of an orange. Don't, then only you can reach the axis. So let us start with this and very long. Actually, the alien myth started in a... Uh...